Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, it is a VOA Middle East coming to you from Washington, D.C. Uh, we're doing another installment of Behind the Wall, looking at Syria today. It is April 29th, and we've been monitoring social media, Twitter, Skype, and Facebook to take a look at what's going on. Uh, heading that up has been reporter Cecily Hillary. Uh, Cecily, what are you finding today? Uh, what we're finding is, is demonstrations across the country in every city in large numbers. Calls went out over Facebook yesterday uh, for a Friday of anger, calling for citizens to come out in every city and town uh, in solidarity with the people of Dada. And uh, Dada being the epicenter uh, this week of, of the protests and the violence, we're seeing more of the same today. The day started out peacefully enough there. Uh, unfortunately, about an hour ago, there were reports of, of gunfire um, all over the city, the four corners of the city, tanks, cannons. Apparently, as many as 20,000 people from surrounding villages uh, were marching on Dara, and uh, the army was there waiting for them. They've opened fire. You've gotten some video clips that come in today. We have one queued up here. Do you know, uh, this one came in from one of your sources. Uh, clearly, they're showing uh, protesters. Yes, this I believe is in Homs. Uh, those are protesters, which has been relatively peaceful. Protesters tearing down posters of Assad. So, what 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 do we know in terms of violence happening in Dara today? Um, in all corners of the city, we are hearing about tanks, cannon fire, and heavy gunfire at protesters. Uh, the use of, and it's a term I keep hearing, electric sticks. I'm not sure if they're talking about stun guns or, or old-fashioned cattle prods uh, being used against uh, people. Right now, there are reports of confirmed about 30 dead, but I expect that number will grow. Uh, remember, the city has been under siege now for six days bodies of the dead are still in the streets. There's been no electricity, no food getting in, no water, uh, snipers on rooftops. Doctors, medical personnel are now under house arrest in hospitals. They are not allowed to treat the injured. Uh, they're being held only to treat injured uh, army and military personnel, uh, policemen. Um, we also heard that four soldiers were killed when a crowd attacked uh, a fort or an army post there in Dara. And also, can you tell, a lot of people don't know about our Behind the Wall segment, which we do periodically to try to capture what's going on, but where do we find our sources? How is this media getting into you? Uh, I spend hours a day on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, on Skype. Um, Syria is very difficult because the country has banned all uh, foreign news outlets from reporting. It's made it almost impossible for folks to get news out, but brave souls are through their cell phones, through satellite phones. Um, uh, they're getting the word out, uh, and that's how I spend my day. And there are contacts after a while one gets to know that are, are proven to be valid, who back up what they report with video. And what about Latakia or some of the other cities? Are you hearing anything uh, we, there? we are hearing reports of, of heavy gunfire, uh, but no reports of deaths or injuries so far. Um, we, there is one story that a couple of sources have told me about a 10-year-old girl who was leaning outside of a balcony to watch the protests in the streets and was shot in the face by uh, a thug, as they call them, probably a plainclothes officer. Now this week we also saw members of the Ba'ath Party resign uh, because of the actions being taken by Assad and the military. Have you heard anything about army defections? Yes, or yes. Uh, Apparently, some members of the 5th Army Division are, had defected and were protecting citizens against the 4th uh, Division, who, which is headed by Maha al-Assad, who is uh, the president's brother. Um, uh, that's, that's all we know at this point. There, are, there is video showing uh, troops actually joining protesters mm -hmm. in one city. Uh, but again, it's hard to tell. And of course, the state TV, the government denies these reports. And we've reached out to um, the uh, Syrian ambassador to the U.S. to try to get them on the record here, and we've made other efforts, but we're not hearing anything from the Syrian government directly. What are they saying in terms of uh, general statements about what's going on? They're simply blaming it on outside agitators and terrorists and uh, the United States CIA. 
Uh, thanks a lot, Cecily, for giving Thank us you. another uh, report. Again, uh, Behind the Wall is a unique report we do uh, every few days that is relying upon all of our viewers to send in video information, inside information, so we can tell a story in places where it's very difficult to get information out. Thanks for joining us. We'll have another Behind the Wall again soon.